What's up guys, today I'm going to teach you how to create a locomotive, this case an H1044 in Autodesk Inventor. Alright, so the first step is to basically lay out a scale image of the locomotive. What I did here is I created two parallel lines that are an equal distance of 14 foot 6 inches, just like the prototype locomotive. After laying out the two lines, I basically drew out the basic shape of the locomotive to extrude. For this locomotive, I went as far as getting blueprints from the Pennsylvania Railroad. This locomotive is supposed to be 10 feet wide, so what I chose was the extrude tool with a dual directional extrude tool, so that way it extrudes at 5 feet in the direction. Due to the way Inventor works, I chose to fill at the corners of the cap first. Now it's time to extrude the long hood. Pretty easy, the same process as extruding the cap. For the extrusion for the long hood, I chose a 5 foot 9 and then I proceeded to fillet the edges about 10 inches. Looking at pictures online, this locomotive has a lot of round edges. Very, very simple to do. To create the hood that's over the rear walkway of the FM H1044, I had to create this profile in order to extrude it. Here I set the depth of the extrusion to match the exact depth of the cap. Where you saw round edges, there will now be steps. I use the extrude tool to create steps. After using the 2D sketch, I now use the extrude tool to reverse the cut into the locomotive. Now I must recreate the step on the bottom side. Since I made the sketch from the front side of the step, I now extrude it back into the step well. Looking at prototype pictures, they also had rounded edges going into the stairwells, which I have yet to create. For the front and rear walkways, I create a 2D sketch down the center of the locomotive again. I again use the bi-directional extrude tool to extrude it about 8 feet. These particular locomotives had shutters over the holes I'm about to cut, but those are yet to be put in. Using the extrude tool again, I extrude the hole for the radiator. The same process is used to cut holes where the air intake is. Now comes the detailing section. What I did here is I created a 2D sketch plane on top of the hood side. I then extrude the doors to about a quarter inch. I omitted the section where I mirrored the doors over onto the other side. Again, I create a 2D sketch plane on top of the cab side, this way I can cut out the window. This time I create a 2D sketch plane inside the cab and then create a thickness of 2 inches on each side so the windows don't get cut out. Followed by another cutting extrusion to create a cab thickness of about 2 inches. To create depth in the cab, I use the same process where I eliminate the window cut. Another quick step was to cut out the cab side so that it isn't round. Thanks you guys for watching. If you want to see more tutorials like this, don't be afraid to like, comment, and subscribe. I'm not doing this for money, I'm just doing it for fun. Have a nice day.